Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night depending on where you're watching from the world. I just want to take a moment and just say thank you guys so much for the support, the positive feedback, the suggestions. Uh, it's been such a great experience making these types of videos and just kind of learning about different types of things so with your guys's help it's been uh, a lot of fun so i just want to say thank you for for that uh this today's video is recommended by brother in arm thanks again buddy for all your recommendations uh it is about the isro so it's the indian space research organization um so it looks pretty exciting i'm really interested in like space stuff uh exploring uh into space different galaxies the planets i really wish that we were advanced enough to go to different galaxies maybe find aliens or something cool or go to mars uh but i know elon musk is working on something for that uh so hopefully soon i know india has been doing a lot of great things just from the research that i've been doing and learning from you guys uh so maybe working together one day we can do it right uh travel travel to space uh before i continue talking let's just get to the video but if you do like this please drop a like and if you haven't done so yet please hit that subscribe button uh so that we can continue making these types of videos uh I'm going to start the video, but first I want you to guess when the ISRO was founded. Uh, we're going to check the answer at the end of the video, so comment below your answers and then we'll see who's right and who's wrong. So let's get straight to the video, guys. Space. It is vast, cold, cool, and uninhabitable. A final frontier where man has spent hours of labor and study and research to understand. Hey guys, welcome to FTD Facts, it's like the channel endless, where we like complete to educate darkness. you guys about every culture and people around the planet. And today, we are looking at a program and an institution that is aimed not just for exploration, but business and communication. And the institution Those things we are, are big, looking man. at today is the Indian Space Research Organization, which is commonly known as ISRO. ISRO. Hey guys, what's going ISRO. on, Dave Walt here? Now, I -S -R -O. this video, I want to know from all you guys, mm -hmm. which planet is your favorite planet and why? Okay, my favorite planet is Earth because we got all the food here, we got all the good stuff here. <laughs> but my second planet would be Saturn because, I don't know, just the color, I like the ring around it. Uh, I think it's one of the coolest looking planets, Saturn. Uh, how about you guys? Comment below, let me know what your favorite planet is and why. Um, me, I've always liked Venus because Venus was the planet where we discovered right. global warming. What? Now, for those who I didn't know that. Us here for the first time, we take lots of recommendations from Venus. our viewers, and we really like to listen to our community. And to prove that we listen to recommendations, this video itself has been recommended by so many of you. Viewers like Crazy okay. Gamer, Annie Rude Rayo, Ishu Rai, Heck, Duryo Hanna <laughs> wouldn't shut up about it, and that is the stuff that we like to hear. And of course, all the rest of you, sorry we can't name them all because if we were to do it, it would take a whole video of shout -outs. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of people interested. Guys, and because I'm a space guy, I thought we should talk today about the Indian Space Research Organization. ISRO. Because it's I -S -R -O. a really fascinating program, one that is known and appreciated worldwide. Mm -hmm. Now, to start off, the Indian Space Research Organization was formed Number on a one. very special day in India. And that was the Day of Independence, which happens every August 15th. However, ISRO was formed exactly on August 15th of 1969. 1969, guys. I'm going to check your comments and see who got it right, who got it wrong. By founder Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. And since then, it has grown to the giant organization we know of now. Now, ISRO is known worldwide, especially to other organizations like the European Space Agency and even NASA. Now, normally here okay. on FTD Facts, we don't really like to compare, like, one country's achievements to another country's achievements. Fair enough. But as for ISRO, its budget isn't as nearly as big as NASA's. They spend over $1.2 billion a year, and in the last 40 years, they've 1 spent .2 half billion. of what NASA spends in one year. Now, in 2008, still a lot of this money, though. Ram launched a rocket with 10 satellites in it. Now that might not seem like much with Russia having the lead of 30. So is I guessing this ISRO so ISRO is government it's a government agency or is it private because I know in the US now there is NASA and then there is SpaceX but SpaceX is kind of private for but they do most of the, like the transport right 
uh, where NASA does the exploration, the research, and things like that. Seven satellites in one rocket, but Israel Seven has satellites. plans to launch a rocket with 83 satellites inside it. They what? To use the How big is this rocket, man? 83 satellites? Variant to achieve this in 2007. Now two of them will be Indian satellites while the rest of them will all be wow. NATO satellites from other countries. Yo, that's so now, cool, man. Their rockets, they have one called the SLV, which stands for Satellite Launch Vehicle. And this was the first rocket to be aimed to take satellites to at least 500 <laughs> kilometers like, up. Give you an idea of how far that is, the Kármán line, which is the border that separates Earth from space, sits at about 100 kilometers above sea level. Now, as for the SLV, the first launch was on August 10th, 1979, and out of the three following tests, only two were successful. Now, although they had failures, the space program didn't give up there. Right. No sooner after, they launched the ASLV in 1987, which was the augment... How cool would it be to be an astronaut and blasting off on these rockets? That would be, like, one of the craziest rides, like... Ever, you know like imagine just coming back down because you know it lights up on fire or like let's say just say you go up into space and there's zero gravity and you're just floating how many of you ever thought about that or like wanted to be an astronaut if you want if you ever thought about being an astronaut drop the like button right now and so I know who wanted to be an astronaut satellite launch vehicle now this rocket also didn't have much success until the introduction of the polar satellite launch vehicle which was introduced in 1993 now, some big rockets man failed but its second test succeeded on October 15th 1994 and that was the day India had a reliable vehicle to get to space now, Chandrayaan-1 was a vehicle launched in October of 2008. Looks like gold plating. Now, this was the first That's a gold India rocket, guys. The moon. And it's a good thing they did that because currently India is the fourth country to reach the moon and plant a flag what? on the surface. But on November 18th of 2008, Very nice. the probe was on its way down to Like the my surface. country, like, okay, so where we're... we're my parents are from like where I was born I grew up in Canada but uh, so back home is like Afghanistan like there's been so much war there there is the, the people are like you know poor and uh, you know a lot of families lost members so I don't think they're gonna advance in a really long time to get to that stage but uh, that's pretty cool that India has a flag on the moon good job when India became that is the cool. first country to really discover water on the surface of the moon. And after mm. a decade of arguing, scientists have agreed that because of Chandrayaan-1, there is not just water in minerals on the moon, but there is water scattered all over the surface. And following that, in 2014... <laughs> okay, so India if we go to the moon, at least we won't be thirsty. There'll be something for us to drink. Took NASA decades to do, got some water, got, can do some push-ups, do some exercise. We can stay hydrated. The Although there's no oxygen, Mars. but... Now, December 2016, India has launched over 121 satellites, 79 of them being foreign satellites. Now, on Holy shaka rones, man! ISRO launched its very first space shuttle. This is the reusable launch vehicle technology demonstrator, which is an unmanned smaller version of the space shuttle, but it is a stage 2 vehicle that can be reusable, but is currently still in testing. And if this vehicle gets positive That's a nice rocket in the next couple of years, it may cut ISRO's production costs by 10 times. Now the Indian Yo, Space ten Research times? Organization has... 10 times? That's significant. That's like a, that's a very important innovation, man. Holy smokes, 10 times? Like, the improvement, the amount of cost efficiency of the uh, space travel or sending things into space, uh, that can open so many opportunities. Uh, made for advancement accomplishments from its first launch in the 1960s in Thumba, India. Currently, ISRO employs over 15,000 people who work daily at making <laughs> great strides towards what? our future. That's but a lot, to man. 15,000. India plans to expand the company by adding in training centers for astronauts and many more departments, which will help further the knowledge of mankind. So that's it for me, guys. My name is Dave Wobble, and it's been awesome talking about this great institution. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that other countries are making great strides in their space programs. But you know what, guys? If you guys got any facts that we missed, be sure to put them down there in the 
comments below. And on top of that, guys, be sure to send us any future fact videos that you guys want us to do. <laughs> Who knows what future technologies and discoveries... All the smart people getting together, brainstorming. They could be technologies that will bring us better communication to all of us living on the planet, or discoveries that will let us know our humble place within this vast universe. To everybody in India, and wish India very happy Independence Day for August 15th. Um, there's been thousands of years of struggle to make India free and by the uh, great will and power of the people. Alright, wow, so very, very cool video, very informative. Uh, thank you again, brother in arm, for such a great recommendation. Uh, man, like, this is what we need. We need more countries to kind of get on board uh, like this like how India has to put, put minds together uh, to encourage people to uh, innovate um, so that we can try to come together and improve human life right and just advance our technology uh, so now I know that India has been playing a really big role in the tech sector as well as innovating so that's really awesome uh, we need more people like that around the world uh, to just kind of come together um, so yeah, I think the future is going to be really cool with all the innovation happening. I think maybe, maybe by the time like we're like 90 or 100, maybe we'll be going to different planets because I know Elon is trying to go to Mars. So maybe one day we'll be making videos from Mars. Who knows? Uh, so thanks again, brother and arm for your uh, cool recommendation. Um, if you guys have anything else, always feel free to suggest below and I'll be happy to check it out. And thanks again for everyone for your support. I really do appreciate it. If you want, if you like this video, please drop a like and smash that subscribe button so that we can continue making more videos. Until the next video, I hope you guys have a wonderful night or a wonderful day and hope you guys are staying safe during quarantine. Peace.